Good morning. We're going to do part two of lesson 57 today. Um, okay, so we're going to learn two new suffixes. I want you to echo these words and listen for the common suffix. Manly, friendly, kindly. The suffix that you heard in each word was what? Lee. Let's look at how we spell that. Manly, kindly, friendly. Okay. You have the suffix ly. All right. Um, if a manly man acts like a man and a lonely person feels like he or she is alone and a kindly smile looks like the person is kind, then the suffix li means like or how something is, okay? So suffix, consonant suffix ly, li, friendly, like or how, okay? Um, echo these words and listen for the different suffix. Funny, rocky, shady. The suffix you hear is e. Let's look at how we would spell those. Rocky, shady, and funny. How did we spell it? With the Y, with the Y. So if a funny person is full of fun, a rocky road is full of rocks, a shady park is full of shade, then suffix E means full of, like having whatever it is that you're having shade, full of shade. So that is suffix Y, and that is a vowel suffix. Remember, Y counts as a vowel when it is at the end of words. All right, and one other thing I want to tell you with Lee, we said like or how, like friendly, like a friend. Um, it also has a couple of other meanings. It can tell you how something is done, like slowly, quickly, loudly. It can also tell you when something is going to happen, like lately, hourly, recently. So that would have to do with when something happens, how something happens, and then like. Um, the keyword for L-Y, I haven't watered my flowers. They look dry and spindly. I'd rather have them full and bright to make my yard look friendly. Friendly is our keyword that goes with L-Y. And on our vowel suffix Y, here's the keyword, the riddle. Cheerful, cheerful friends who like to laugh and generally be funny can make you feel that life is good and that your day is sunny sunny full of sun all right let's go to page 31 in your with your papers looks like this all right these are going to be some words that have suffix ly and we're going to practice reading them okay when you um code suffixes remember if you were going to code, code them you box them all right so that would look like this and it's important when you start, like we had some words last week that had two suffixes back to back. When you start getting those longer words, if you can recognize prefixes and suffixes, it helps you break the word apart. So you want to you wanna be training your eye to see those, okay? Let's read through these. Aptly, coyly, fitly, hotly, manly, quickly, blankly, briskly, bluntly, frankly, formerly, wishfully, badly, dimly, godly, madly, sadly, blandly, strictly, bravely, gruffly, likely, softly, selfishly. All right. We're also going to do page 32. Looks like this. And that has words with suffix Y. And let's go through reading these. Arty, bossy, drafty, flaky, greedy, itchy, lucky, needy, oily, peppy, rocky, shaky, stony, wavy, bony, corny, dusty, fussy, 
grimy, jumpy, messy, nervy, noisy, picky, rusty, sleepy, snowy, witty. Great job. All right, let's review the rules for adding suffixes to base words. We've done that. It's been, a, it's been a while, so let's review them again. So there are two kinds of suffixes. You have a vowel suffix or a consonant suffix. The first letter of a vowel suffix is a vowel. That's what makes it a vowel suffix, like ing, I-N-G. Um, some of the other vowel suffixes would be er, est, en, ish, ed, s. Um, those all are, they start with a vowel, so they were vowel suffixes. The first letter of a consonant suffix is a consonant, as in less, or full, or ness. Those start with a consonant. All right, um, let's look at, if we were to put run plus ing and hid plus n. All right. The first rule concerning adding suffixes to base words is the doubling rule, which we've gone over. But remember, we scaffold through these. We keep bringing them up because you got to have that repetition to get it locked in our mind. So when a word ends in one vowel, one consonant, and is, and is accented, and then you're adding a vowel suffix to that word, you double the final consonant. So here... This word ends in one vowel followed by one consonant. It is accented, it's only one syllable. And this is a vowel suffix. That has all our checkpoints. One vowel, one consonant, one accent, vowel suffix. If that's the case, you're going to double this last letter and then add your vowel suffix. Here, one vowel, one consonant is accented and you have a vowel suffix here. So that, that that's all our checkpoints. So you would double this letter before you add the vowel suffix. All right? All right. Um, let's look at another one. Let's do self plus ish. All right, so let's look at our checkpoints, all right? Does the base word end in one vowel followed by one consonant? We have the vowel, oh, there's two consonants. Does that follow our checkpoints? It does not. So right there, we already know it's not going to follow our rule. It does have the vowel suffix, but you have to have all of these checkpoints or it doesn't work. So if that's the case, you just write your base word and you just add the, the suffix to it. You don't double anything or if it doesn't follow the checkpoints. Okay. Let's look at another one. Um, we have thin plus ness. All right. Let's look at that. This one, this word ends in one vowel followed one by consonant and is accented. So that's all the checkpoint. This is a consonant suffix. Does that follow our checkpoints? No. So we don't have both checkpoints. We just write the base word and then you just add the suffix to it. No doubling. Now it looks like you doubled there, but you didn't. Thin ends in an N, nest starts with an N. Okay, so you just wrote it as it is. All right, let's look at a couple more. We have Hope plus ing, and we'll do hike plus er. Okay. Um, so when a base word ends in a silent e, like both of these, all right, and a vowel suffix is being added, you're going to drop the silent e. All right, this was what we referred to as the dropping rule. All right, so if the base word ends in a silent E, all 
all right? And you are adding a vowel suffix to it. So you gotta have both checkpoints. You drop that E and you add the vowel suffix, all right? So let's look at these two. We have a silent E and we have the vowel suffix. That's both checks. So we're going to drop that E and add ING, all right? Let's look here. We have a silent E, that's a checkpoint. We have a vowel suffix checkpoint again. So I'm going to drop that E and add the vowel suffix hiker, hoping. All right. All right, let's look at, let me see. All right, let's go over a few more here and using our checkpoint. So here we have a silent E check. Is this a vowel suffix? No, so we don't have both checks. You just write the base word and then you add the suffix to it, lateness. Let's check this one. You have a silent E, right? Is this a vowel suffix? No, so we only had one check. You cannot drop the E. So you write hope and you add the full to it, hopeful, okay? Here we have manly, you have this is not the silent E one. This would be looking to see if we double it. You, and the word ends in one vowel, one consonant, accent. So that's check. Is this a vowel suffix? No. So we just write the word man, manly. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at a few more. Um, let's look at loan. Plus Lee, all right. Loan ends in a silent E, check. Is this a vowel suffix? No. So we would just write it as is, okay? Um, let's look at this one. All right. This one is not a silent E, so we're looking for the, the vowel consonant accent. So we have vowel, Consonant, consonant, we have two. Does that follow our rule? No. Plus you do not have a vowel suffix. So this one had no checkpoints. You just write your base word and add the suffix. Okay, let's look at another one. All right, if I said sun plus E, all right, so here we have one vowel, one consonant, and it's accented, that's a check. Why, does that count as a vowel suffix? Yes, it does. So that is a check. So what are we gonna do here? You're going to double the last letter, the consonant of that base word before you add your vowel suffix. So we would do the doubling rule then. All right, let's try this one, rock plus E, okay, here. You have vowel, consonant, consonant. Does that follow our rule? No, you can only have one. We do have a vowel suffix, but we only one checkpoint. So we write the word rock, add your Y, rocky. Okay. All right, let's try one more. Shade plus E. All right, we have a silent E here. So we're looking at the dropping rule. Yes, we have a silent E, is this a vowel suffix? It sure is. So we have both checkpoints. So you're going to drop this silent E and add your constant, I mean your vowel suffix, shady, shady. All right, all right, let's go to page 33, okay. We're going to be practicing all that we just did. You're going to practice it on your own here. It has the two rules for adding suffixes to base words. You have your doubling rule. You have your dropping rule. They're both right there. Okay. So they did the first two for you. Here they have glib plus lee. So glib does end in one vowel, one consonant accent. So it gave it a check. Lee, is that a vowel suffix? No. So it only had one check. You just add, you just put the word together. Shine, uh, it has a silent E, check. 
it has a vowel suffix check. So we've got both checks. So they wrote the word S-H-I-N, dropped the E, and they added the Y. And they put over here that they use the dropping rule. So if you use the dropping rule or the doubling rule, you're going to put drop or double here. You got to go by your checkpoints. So I would do your checkpoints first, write it, and then write if it's drop or double. If you don't do either, if you only have one check, then you're not writing anything in this column, okay? All right, work on that right quick, and then we will go over it. All right, let's get through this. All right, so here we have uh, we have two vowels. So do we get a check for that? No. We do have a vowel suffix, so only one check. So you're just going to write the word as is. You did not add or drop anything, so you're not putting anything there. City. Here, snap plus E. You have one vowel, one consonant uh, accent, so that's a check. And you have a vowel suffix, that's a check. So we have both checks. We're going to double our P, add the, the consonant, I mean the suffix, and over here in your column, you would put double. Okay? Safely, you have a silent E, check. Oh, but we have a consonant suffix. So only gets one check, you just write it as is. Nothing over here. Runny, vowel consonant accent, check. Vowel suffix, check. We have both checks. So we are going to double the consonant here and add Y. And you're gonna write double over here, because that's what we did. Shortly, we have a vowel consonant consonant that is not a check. That's a, a consonant suffix, no checks at all here. You just write the word shortly and this is blank. Witty, we have a vowel consonant accent, check. You have a vowel suffix, check. We have both. So I'm going to double my T and you did the doubling rule. All right, checking all that. So I'm gonna pause your video if you need to correct anything. And we have three more to do. All right, what was that one? Crisp plus Y. So here we have a vowel, consonant, consonant. So that it gets no check. Y gets one check. You have one check, so we don't, we just write it as is, and you don't, you leave that blank. Whiny, so you have wine plus E. Uh, you have a silent E, check here. You have a vowel suffix, both. So we are going to write the word, you're gonna drop that E and add Y, and you're gonna write that you did the dropping rule. All right, namely. All right, here we have a silent E, check. Do we have a vowel set? No, we do not. So you're just writing the word as is. No, nothing written to the side because you did not double R drop. All right, great job, guys. Um, okay, we're going to attempt to do an auditory practice you, with this, which is going to be difficult, but we'll try. So I'm going to tell you a word. You're breaking up the base word with the suffix, and you're going to tell me if you would double or drop anything, okay? Sanely. So you have sane. And Lee, would we have two checks? No. Smoggy, so smog, and then you're adding suffix E, we would double. Corny, nothing. Cooly, nothing, you just write it as is. Costly, nope, you don't have a vowel suffix. Calmly, nope. Lively, nope. Shiny, you have shine that has a silent E and you're adding E the vowel suffix so we would drop the E there. Fluffy, you have two consonants at the end, nope. Skinny, skin ends in one vowel, one consonant accent and then you're adding E, you would double, all right? Okay, right there just on the back of your page that you had on this, I want you're gonna practice writing seven words, seven words. Number one, lucky, lucky. Number two, 
smoky, smoky. Number three, oily, oily. Number four, loudly, loudly. Number five, zippy, zippy. Number six, likely, likely. And number seven is a nonsense word, stinny, stinny. All right, let's see how you did. Lucky, so you have L-U-C-K, two consonants. We don't do anything, we just write it. Smoky, smoke ends in a silent E, so we drop the E and add the Y. Oily, you have two vowels here. We just write it as is. Loudly, you have two vowels here and Lee is not a vowel suffix, so you just write it as is. Zippy, vowel consonant accent, and you are adding a vowel suffix, so you double the P. Likely, you have a silent E, but we're adding a consonant suffix. And stinny. All right. Check your work. If you missed any, just correct it. And that is going to end our lesson today. Have a great afternoon.